So you, this is something you must always have in your house. If you get a cut right now, you just powder the cayenne pepper, put on it as a poultice. It going to stop the bleeding, prevent infection, promote the healing, and stop the pain, kill the pain as an anesthetic in the area. Cayenne pepper, both for internal and external uses. You can use it. They, they used to use this as tear gas against the British, the, the, the Coromante people, known as, as uh, Maroons. They used to bur powder it and burn it. That's tear gas. You can't deal with that. You have to leave the area. And the, the Coromante people, derogatory, known as Maroons, they used to use that against the British forces when they were struggling in the Caribbean. They used to use that as a weapon. So this is a very serious pepper which is used for multi-purposes, you know what I mean? You, you, you use it, you burn it in the house to drive away rats and insects, you don't, but you have to leave the house when you, you put it on the fire, you have to leave the house because it's going to drive any, any living thing, roach, rat, anything, going to leave the premises and then it does come back, open up your windows, etc. That's the cayenne pepper, and those are the primary uses, and that's one of the reasons why you should always have it, whether on your possession or an in your household. It's an it's, it's a ingredient that can save your life, literally save your life. I've used it to relieve a lot of substances traveling with people, and you know what I mean? It and the busy. We're going to talk about the bu busy in another program because the busy is the second or the are equally important in terms of, of um, your medicine pouch and an emergency response to any kind of ailment. Irie? So, peace and blessings every time. Then I'm at you. Ixlia Beer Maska. Welcome to the Bush, Bush Doctor segment. I am your Bush Doctor, Rasan Abdul Hakim, right here on Rockers TV. Today we're going to talk about asthma. It's an ailment that's affecting our community very seriously. And asthma, you cannot talk about asthma in a few minutes and get to it, but we're just going to go through the basics and give you something that you, where you can get see some relief from it on the way to curing it. Asthma is an ailment directly related to diet, environment, and lifestyle. Asthma. You eat, drink, eat a lot of milk, you drink milk, butter, egg, cheese, rice, flour, chicken, the dead meats, you know what I mean? It puts a lot of mucus in your body, and that mucus lodges in the breathing passages. The air can't get through to the lungs. That is what asthma is, restriction of air getting to the lungs based on the amount of mucus that's in the breathing passages. If you get excited and get tense, that area get even smaller, the, the, nerve, the, the, the breathing patches tighten up more, you start to gas for air, that's an asthma attack. Just to give it to you basically, there's a lot more to it than that, but just to give it to you basically, that's what asthma is. To cure asthma, all you have to do is to change your diet and your lifestyle and clean up what mucus is in the breathing passages and open it up. Simple, some basic things that you can do is you can take like the nutmeg, the nutmeg suck and the nutmeg on a, day, a daily basis. Keep a piece of nutmeg in your mouth, keep your breathing passages open. So you're always getting a certain amount of air into your lungs and you prevent asthma attacks or lessen them on the way to improvement. You have a number of herbs like the eucalyptus leaf, the jack in the bush, the pepper elder, these the sweet basil, you can combine these herbs, make tea, especially the eucalyptus leaf. Make a tea with it, drink it on a regular. Mule 